All right, so I just want to do a little quick walk around semi review of the Havoc rear bumper and tire carrier combo. Uh, I've had this bumper on about two months now, done a little bit of wheeling, uh, used the recovery points, and uh, yeah, I have a pretty good idea about how I feel about it. So we'll do a quick walk around here, show you some of the features and, and that sort of stuff. So here is the left side and this is how it mounts on the left side and also the right side it's the same uh, two bolts that go through the frame and then on the inside of the frame there's a, a nut plate it's like an L bracket I think it's quarter inch plate with uh, two nuts welded on and so that's how it mounts on both sides with bolts through there so it pinches the outside frame rail and uh, does a pretty good job of mounting in there so both sides are the same there um, if I can get a video a little here um, underneath the hitch here, eh, not going to really tell, but it actually reuses the the four factory hitch mounts uh, mounting bolts. So those pass through the back side of the frame and into the bumper, and then there's another nut plate that slides into the bumper that you screw those into. So you know one of the big things I like about this is it retain the factory hitch. So you know you can pull a trailer and all that. That was a pretty big criteria for me. Um, so it also has cutouts for 3 inch cube lights and I have a set of Quadratech floodlights in there and I've been really happy with those. Um, and then, you know, nice thing about this, they, the lights cannot be taken out with the bumper on so security wise they can't be stolen. You can still get in there to adjust them, you know, aim them up, down, rotate, that sort of stuff a little bit so, so I think that's another good feature. Uh, keep in mind if you're going to install the bumper and you want to get lights be easier if you waited until you had lights because you can't get them in with the bumper on so there's that um, d-ring mounts they mount pretty solid um, they go through the bumper and then into a backing plate on the back of the bumper and they're welded front rear and then also onto that plate so definitely put pretty solid uh, recently used them to give a little tug to a three-quarter ton truck so you know those are holding up good so far happy with that um, Go to the side here and get a little idea of the, the angle and the cut of the bumper, the departure angle and that sort of stuff. So there's that. Sticks out a little bit more than uh, some other bumpers on the market. Not bad, not much past the, really not past the factory hitch and it kind of angles up a little bit. But I have drugged the bottom of the corner of the bumper a little bit on some steep section of trail, but nothing too bad. Uh, you can see the tire carrier here. and. Uh, Here's the spindle for that, and there's a plate on here, you can kind of see that there, and that's welded, and then on the inside of the bumper there's another plate, so the spindle passes through the bumper and is welded on both sides, so it's pretty reinforced, and I would guess it's, you know, the spindle might be one inch, maybe in diameter, at least three quarters for sure, so it's definitely solid. Inside the, underneath the cap here there's two uh, wheel bearings, Just pack those with grease and put those on. And uh, this is actually sealed with silicone. And then there's a, a gasket, a bearing uh, on the bottom here, underneath the bearing. So that, that's all sealed. Um, so, so that should last a long time. Um, for the tire carrier portion, um, it comes with a high lift mount. It's pretty cool. Kind of a neat thing here. You can see there's actually a cutout here that the, the foot of the high lift jack fits into. So it kind of keeps it a little bit more flush down on the bumper. So that's kind of a nice feature. So come around here and try to show you the back of the, the mounting bracket. So like a lot of other bumpers, mounts with a plate inside where the uh, factory spare tire uh, mount goes. And uh, there's a heim joint here, you can see that there. Um, and basically that's how it mounts, so here's the actual bracket here. Um, so pretty solid, there's a little bit of rattle when it's open, not too big of a deal, um, but when you close it, it's pretty solid. I actually was able to keep both factory bump stops and then it actually comes with a third bump stop that uh, mounts down below that really would really lock that in. I, I haven't had any rattles or anything on the trail and driving down the road. I've been pretty happy with uh, how it's performed so far, so I don't really foresee that changing. A little bit of a, a little bit of an issue to get it all lined up and the heim adjusted correctly so uh, you know you can get full opening and then also it tightens down just before you close the tailgate and then when you close the tailgate it really locks in so 
so that's good. You can see the cutout there for the spare tire, which close this and back up and you can see that this is a 35 inch tire. It really sits pretty low. I have it adjusted kind of as low as I can get down into that little cutout on the bumper and uh, retains actually quite a bit of uh, vision on the, the hard top there. So happy with that. Uh, you can see I have the third brake light. That's just the stock brake light. I cut that off and then remounted it onto the back of the bumper. Um, and then you can see the high lift mounted up there across the way. So I think overall visibility is pretty good with this bumper. Pretty happy with how the tire sits. So yeah, that's the Havoc rear bumper tire carrier combo. Uh, if you have any questions about it, leave them in the comments below and uh, I'll try to answer your questions. Thanks guys.